going, people? I'm doing pretty fucking good. I started my weekend just now. Just made it up to the house. It's dark already. <laughs> uh, it's been a tough week, but it's going to be an awesome weekend. Just because I have faith in that. And I think I can do something about it also. Anyway, I have not um, indulged since well, last Saturday. It's now Thursday night. I owe this to myself. Besides, I got a Herculean task ahead of me. I promised that I would cover this. The actual news. So you can count on it being accurate. Fair and balanced and all that shit. Oh, it's so nice. Mmm. All right. <clears throat> Just getting my voice ready for the video. Okay, actual news, and it's sort of a pamphlet. You see that? Lots of illustrations. Not sure all how I'm going to handle that. All right. Anyhow, let's take a close look here. Five big questions. Ooh. All right. I'm going to go over that. <clears throat> the actual news. And then it goes into a quote from the Bible. And not even the good news. It's the Old Testament. It's Hosea 4 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Sounds like conservative Christianity or fundamentalist Islam or any of those dogmatic types. That's my take on this. Anyway, um, to be to continue, let's see. Yeah, because thou hast thou thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. You know, take his ball and go home. I guess that's God talking there. Uh, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Sounds like a little hissy fit there. You get a lot of those in the Old Testament. Then he had a human sacrifice and devoured his kid, and they became three parts of the same thing, but different aspects. Not at all like, you know, other not real stuff, you know, like Hinduism and stuff, where they got the Brahma and its different aspects. All right. Anyway, that's the end of that. Uh, you are preconditioned through media to ignore truth and embrace propaganda. Yeah, it's called confirmation bias, people. And we we are all guilty of that. I guess it's just human nature. Uh, but you got to be able to put whatever you think on the line and to the test every time. And toss it out if it isn't... Um, let's read on. All right. Um, Ferguson... ISIS, technology, religion, 9-11 government attack, whose government ours, uh, Ebola, in parentheses, a CDC plague, well, you know, they control the diseases, of course, it's a center for controlling diseases. So you got to go to them to get a disease, I guess. I guess they bring it to you. Anyway. Um, GMO foods, enough said. Uh, 
homosexual agenda. Oh, God, they even have a little graphic here. You notice it's got that, uh, don't do it, uh, mm -mm -mm. yeah. Get over it, folks, man. Some folks will do that. That's all. History. Anyway, that's all history. His story, anyway. Five big questions. One. What's really going on? Yeah. Hopefully they'll give us the answer. Uh, two. What are we supposed to do? Maybe, I don't know, live life and show a little empathy to others because they're experiencing life in pretty much the same way you are. And you don't want to be treated like shit, so you don't treat other people like shit. And then when somebody does treat them like shit, anyone like shit, you go, that person doesn't fit into society. Okay. Um, <clears throat> three? I'm helping out here. How does this affect you? Because otherwise it's not important, I guess. But everything affects you if you're doing, you know, considering the butterfly effect and all that. Yeah. Four. What should I believe? Please tell me. You know, maybe you shouldn't be believing things. Maybe you should be saying, all right, I accept that thus far. Everything's subject to change. Got to be flexible. Uh, five. Who am I according to the Bible? Who am I according to the Bible? All right, so that's me asking this question, right? I don't expect to find myself in the Bible. Look, that's the Bible. And I don't expect... Whoops. I forgot. That's just a stash box. Mm, it's paraphrased anyway. And the people who wrote this might even agree with that one since it is a J-Dub book. All right. Uh, oh, now, uh, who am I according to the Bible? I don't know. Who am I according to Aesop's fables? What the fuck? It's a dumbass question. And I I wasn't asking that one. <sighs> all right, that's a five big questions. Chime in. Love to hear what you gotta think, what you all think about that. Uh, now that we now we go into a quote from Revelation 1 3. And that's a that's a good one. Babylon the Great is fallen. Yeah, my grandfather, who was a minister, got all excited when H.W. Uh, Bush bombed Saddam. He's like, that's Babylon, it's fallen! It's going to happen in my lifetime. <sighs> Sorry, Gramps. <laughs> Been a while. Still waiting. <sighs> Babylon, the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitation of devils. Real devils or metaphorical devils? Let's see, how does this go? Okay, boom. <sighs> <clears throat> Got to read this in the right way or I'm going to get all turned around again. Oh boy, we're going to talk some shit here. I can already see it. <laughs> Bible validity. Fact! The Bible, KJV, is the most valid and up-to-date record We have in regards to history. Laws, prophecy, and spirituality. Important shit there. All that non-temporal stuff that doesn't matter in this life, but you got to think about the next one. All the time. Or not. 
Events in the Hebrew records are also recorded in other nations' history, such as the Flood. <sighs> Hang on a minute. Flood. I got a flood for you. <laughs> really, huh? The flood. Even as a kid, I went. Now tell me about Balaam arguing with his donkey again because an angel was blocking the road with a sword in his hand and he was invisible. But the donkey saw him and had to tell Balaam about it. And then Balaam did what anyone would do when his donkey's giving him some information in a language he can understand. He says, Oh, I'm glad you understand me. I want to kick your fucking ass, you ass! And that's all to stop him from going in and putting a hoodoo hex on the Hebrews. See, this is all ingenious. It's so believable. All right, the flood, the Tower of Babel, four beasts of Daniel, events slash wars before the return of Christ, which is anything still going on. Because, well, several people have claimed they were him, but apparently they weren't, and we're still waiting on the real deal. Then again, we were waiting on the real deal before he came around, and some people aren't sure he was the real deal, that the real deal is yet to come. All right. All right, we're out of the uh, black box. <sighs> Notice, you now see people leaving the Bible completely and following ancient New Age spiritual movements also known as Age of Aquarius, those were air quotes, or Age of Science, because everything's a fucking religion. If religion's an insult, then back at you, buddy. The shit you have instead of the shit I have is also shit. <sighs> I love philosophy. That promotes the authority of oneself as a god and magnifies prosperity. Tell that to the Donald, not me. <laughs> Parenthicles. Wait, isn't this just like what Satan taught? In the garden? Garden of Eden, right? With the magic trees and a talking snake. Okay. Let's talk about that. <sighs> yeah. Satan wasn't in the Garden of Eden. Because they don't mention Satan in Genesis. Some other author who got put into the same book, if this were a real book. Uh, oh, anyway. Yeah, that would be Genesis 3, 1 through 5, where you know the story. Talking snake. Fig leaves. Yeah. Your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as Gods. That's what the snake said. And he was only half wrong. <laughs> Actually, I guess he was all right, but there was no right, so everything was wrong. A perfect creation, isn't it? 
we went, his own creation went and fucked it up. And it's our fault, because, because, um, I'm going to have to reread the book, sorry. Let me just finish with this, all right. All right, so, yeah, people worshiping themselves as gods, um, uh, nah, not me. <laughs> I couldn't get that stoned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we got a picture of Joel Holstein and uh, other famous people and Lady O. And even though I disagree with her on some things, I do adore her. I think she's awesome. But not a god, and she wouldn't say so either. But they're going to say that she thinks she is, I guess. This movement is spearheaded by the world's most influential people, like Joel Holstein. <sighs> at least he's upbeat and always knows somebody that the right thing happened to that he can use in a sermon it's almost like he's making the shit up but you know I mean magic is like that <sighs> a quote from 2nd Corinthians or <clears throat> in Trumpian 2 Corinthians 11 Three, uh, 13 through 15, but probably only part of that. <coughs> <coughs> Cotton mouth. Oh, there we go. Got it. Um, yeah, Sec 2 Corinthians 11, 13 through 15. For such are false apostles... Deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Yeah, we don't see much of that, do we? Except all the time. You know, some people just need to be forgiven over and over again, I guess, you know. Not perfect, just continuously forgiven. All right. Anyway, and look at look look at Oprah laughing. That's diabolical. <laughs> Send these people a donation. They need it. Maybe not O, but the other guys do. <clears throat> oh, I love it. I'm gonna flash this after I read it. Delusion, a belief that is not true. <clears throat> No shit. You know, I was kind of suspecting such a thing. All right. Now we're going to go to the Wisdom of Solomon in, from the King jo James, uh, KJVA. Special one. But I guess it's all of the work, uh, the... Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, because there's no other citations. They didn't give us all the longitude and latitude points we need to cherry-pick correctly. Someone, someone screwed up in editorial. <coughs> For a father... Consumed with grief at the untimely mourning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, made an image of his child who had been suddenly taken from him. He now honored as a god that once was a dead man. And that's it. They don't have the exact quote, but it's somewhere in the Wisdom of Solomon. Look it up. Read the whole damn thing. <sighs> uh, yeah, I know. That's asking a lot. Uh, Lucifer said, and then we go into quotations here. So it's Lucifer talking now, in quotation. Uh, I will exalt my throne above the stars. All of them? You're going to...
Wow. <sighs> I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. And they're all gods, or I don't know how that works. Depends on what bullshit you believe in. There's different little variations of shit. <laughs> That's outside of reality. Yeah, this is all for the next life, so pay attention. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Wow, that's like almost as high as those stars. <sighs> I will be like the Most High. Isaiah 14, 13, 14. Lucifer's a dumbass. He's also... Doesn't know shit about anything. Sounds like, I don't know some primitive bullshit. All right. Uh, all right, now we're going to Obadiah. One, four. Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, which probably could get over those stars even, definitely over those clouds, around the moon a couple times, maybe. Eat some of that cheese there, that green cheese or whatever it is. It's probably Munster cheese. <sighs> I need another beer. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Sorry. I was just overcome. <clears throat> Wrong page. All right. <laughs> Caught it just in time. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, check out <laughs> Obadiah 1 4. Uh, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest. Among the stars. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. And that's Obadiah 1 4. Put that on your bumper. Next to the fish, the chrome fish, which I've always interpreted as one fishy story. All right. This is pretty heavy shit, ain't it? I wonder if I should break this up. This is a big one. All right, I'll finish this page, and then I'll do a part two, which is will be the rest of this. We can get another bong load. <sighs> Satanic symbols you see every day. You get desensitized to that shit. <laughs> that was the crew sign. I learned it from watching pornography. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> that was rude. Sorry. Um, <laughs> holiday deceptions. Wow, they're covering a lot of territory here. Uh, into a Colossians 2.8. Beware after the tradition of of men <coughs> after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ damn you <laughs> all right it uh, this the rest is Jeremiah 10 1 through 5 I might have to get my reading glasses out oh shit I'd chase that down. Learn not the way of the heathen, for the customs of the people are vain. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. I'll agree with that one, but so fucking what? <laughs> oh, that's right. We got Trump in the sky. No, pay attention to me! Not that other guy. Everybody come back and pay attention to that guy up there in the clouds making his nest among the stars. Heavy shit there. Heavy shit. Pretty deep, too. Uh, <laughs> For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Okay. The work of the hands of the workman with the axe. They deck it with silver and gold. Makes sense. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. Okay. That it move not. Wow. Thank you. That had something to do with... Anyway, uh, we're going to do a flyby, and then I'm going to take a little break. All right. This is the show. I mean, they're pointing out, you know, the De Medici Jesus, you know. <laughs> and, uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so that last one was actually about, I think, the holidays. I guess they have something to do with paganism, according to these people. <sighs> eh, they might be right. It's all paganism to me. I'm going to take a break and a long-ass piss. And finish this damn uh, uh, publication here. This pub. Not yet. All right. Stay tuned, I hope. Because it's bound to get better. <laughs>